Then how do we know? This live. Right now? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Come live. But we're not in real time. Anyway. There we go. Hey, everybody. <laughs> there is Glenn. He's sitting there waiting. We have a big night tonight. Big night. Big night. I'm John. This is Josh. Josh, help me out tonight. What's up, everybody? Uh, we're at the Westminster location, and we've got 20 big boxes sitting behind us. Glenn doesn't come visit us anymore. I know. I know. I was thinking, I'll take my yeah, helmet. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna we're early tonight. I we're early tonight, a few minutes early. We'll let everybody jump on. All these big boxes behind me. One of them has a <coughs> awesome helmet signed by all seven Cold Hall Famers. They were actually done at our show. Um, oh, that 2001. Early of 02. Or early January of 02. Yeah. The last time all seven were together. We, they signed those helmets. Um, did, and there's did a, United I know. Did go first or Parker? What's that? Know, did United pass first or did Parker? Yeah, United. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. They were did. Close. He was September of 02. September 11th. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Uh, there's Sean. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Send my Ripken jersey to Perry Hall. Well, I didn't know okay. you pick what you get. Yeah, I yeah. Know. I didn't know we had the works. items on the on the yeah. website, yeah. and you well, just went Ripken jersey the helmet. helmet. Wants the jersey. What yes. does everybody else want? I will right. say this: that <laughs> the Ripken ball that's in one of these boxes. Strong ball. That's a strong ball. Yeah, yeah that's a that's a strong that's a three three hundred and fifty dollar ball because that's a stat ball. Yeah. And it's it's got all a bunch of stats on it from uh, Cal. The golf flag signed by Arnold Palmer, Phil Mickelson, and about 20-some 20, 20 other guys. That's that's awesome. The Joe Montana helmet with the HOF inscription. That's awesome. Yeah, these boxes are pretty good. Pretty nice. Pretty, yeah. pretty nice tonight. Yes. Uh, and we can tell by the rate of sale how quick they sold out. Yes. We nice. can tell that they did sell out very quick. Yep. Um, I think it was odd, though. Number <coughs> I think number 19 was the last one to sell. Yeah, it came when the last three were 18, 19, and 20. Right, right. And then Doug bought 20. Yes. So um, I, everybody watching knows, but for some of the people who maybe are tuning in for the first time, behind me are mystery boxes. And they are on sale when we announce that they're on sale. You go to greatmomentsportscards.com and you buy a mystery box. And uh, we produce 20 boxes. And one of the boxes inside, I don't know where it is. Josh doesn't know where it is going to have a, a Colt Hall of Fame helmet signed by all seven <coughs> Colt Hall of Famers. So somebody is going to get that helmet valued on the low end, 1,200, high end, 1,500. Mm -hmm. They're somebody's going to get that helmet for 159.99. Um, so Vinny. hey, Vinny. Is he still at the beach? He's still at the beach, Vinny. I, yes, he is. He's oh, there right. till Saturday. Right on. Mm-hmm. We'll be there tomorrow night. Oh, <laughs> there, you there you go. Me, Vinny, and Cole hanging out. That's right. Get the crew together. Oh, Vinny will go out. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Vinny, <laughs> you shouldn't have said it's that. It's my wife's birthday weekend. Vinny, so I, well, I oh, you pointed, you like, backpedaled real quick on that yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. I caught a little heat for suggesting I go out for drinks. She With was, Cole? Yeah. On my birthday weekend? Mm. I didn't know it was birthday weekend now. I didn't know we get birthday vacations. It's yes, birthday, yes, so yes, 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 yes. Does anyone watch this, by the way? No, no I would, okay. I would never <laughs> said that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never said that if I thought she would. That's her. Phone yeah, just that's ring. That's Aaron. <laughs> get your butt home. No. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, um, we'll give it a little bit longer. All right. I'll be down next week. Nice. So again, uh, you can buy these mystery boxes, greatmomentsportscards.com. They were $159.99 each. Uh, somebody tonight is going to receive a cold helmet signed by all seven cold Hall of Famers. I know they were done, and, it, and this is part of the industry the way it is today. I watched every Colt sign those helmets. But we went ahead, and there's a ticket. I believe there's a ticket also included from the original show where all seven were. But because of the way the industry is today, we had a JSA. We have a full JSA letter, um, you know, with that helmet. Um, you know, so that's, that's, that's a positive. Hey, Jeff. There's CC. And I think 
Ja we're gonna wait for Josh to come back. Now, this is big tonight. This is this is this is Michael Jordan basketball big, I believe. Um, again, any other ideas? Uh, please just type away and, and let us know. Uh, you know, put in the comments there. If you have any ideas what what you would like to see? Hey, hey, what's up? Um, we are working on a very big deal um, for next week uh, for autograph memorabilia. I don't want to give it away right now, but we're working on a very, uh, very large deal for uh, memorabilia. So hopefully that will come through and we'll be all set. Um, let's keep going. Um, and there's a lot of variety in the things that we'll be picking up. Here we go. Anthony, you ready, buddy? Um, I am going to wait for Josh. I mean, it, it's right now, it's um, about two minutes. Uh, it's about 6.32. I'm going to give Josh another couple minutes. Maybe we can get it started in the next three to four minutes. I believe somebody's calling about um, greatmomentsauction.com right now. And we'll see. I think that's it. Yeah, so Josh is going to the beach. Who's been to the beach this year? Josh is going to the beach um, tomorrow night. And he'll be there uh, through Sunday. I think he's coming home Sunday night. So whoever's down at the beach, hit Josh up. Hit him up. Josh, we have a few people might hit you up while you're at the beach. Just want to let you know. Right, yeah, I had no nothing problem. to do with it. Yeah, I just no problem. I just told him you would be there. I will be there. And um, if they want to talk sports memorabilia or... Maybe right. you hold a little Q&A, maybe some baseball cards. Yeah. You will be there for everybody. My wife would love that. That, yes, yes. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Yeah, there's Lane. What's up, Lane? Hey, Rusty. Lane, yeah. All right, good luck to everyone. Again, I told him this is Michael Jordan big. Yeah, it's right it, This it is, is Michael it's Jordan basketball big. Yep. This is probably the third biggest yeah. item we've ever had. Yep. Ruth Ball being number one, Michael Jordan basketball being number two, along with these. Now, depending on what you like, this right. could be um, as good as a Michael Jordan basketball. But let's get it started. Let's get it rolling. It is about 635 right now, and we are going to open up the first box. The first number one box goes to Richard. Richard Freire, it's the number one box. And let's get this thing started. Hope I don't hit the camera with um with any of the lids i don't think i will pull it back a little bit and there's box number one and box number one has a great item there it is okay so we have the cal ripkin baseball um and it is authenticated by ironclad um it also has a jsa sticker on it but Ironclad, uh, we used to be Cal Ripken's company. So here is a Cal Ripken baseball with Hall of Fame 07, 2632 consecutive games, 19 time All Star, 1982 AL Rookie of the Year, and 1983 and 91 AL MVP. What a great baseball. That's, that's, a, that's an awesome pull for box number one. What's great about Cal is he doesn't. And cheap, you know, in HOF, it's Hall of Fame. 2000. Look at that, Josh. Yeah, that's what I love. There we, go. Beer, there we there go. There we go. <laughs> it might take more than one beer, but it, <laughs> <I got it. laughs> there we go. Okay, so um, that goes yep. back in there, unless you want to take his name and just stick and it right on. It over here to show it. Yeah, that's yeah. A, this is definitely, this is a probably a top four, five. See, that's what's good about these boxes. If this is a top four or five item, then that's a good Good, right, yeah. Good mystery boxes. That'd be yeah. a good top one item. Though. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. For the baseballs? Box, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to go box number two. Gotcha. And box number two goes to uh, Jerry Brown. And I don't want to I don't want to touch them until I open them. Because I don't, yeah, don't want to know the weight of them. All right, Jerry. Box number two. Hey, Chad. Hey, Chad. What's, what's up, up buddy? Man? You back from Deep Creek? I would imagine. Chad's always. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Hey. All right. Um, could you grab me a um a couple baseball cubes? For some reason, I've got two baseballs here. We have the Red Sox connection. We're gonna put these in cubes. Are they not in cubes? 
And we have Jim Rice, Wade Boggs. Two autographed baseballs in this box. The old Fenway connection. Um, did they ever? Yeah, they played together yes. in 86. Well, during the 86 World Series, they played together. Yeah. So, yeah, here we have two baseballs. Jim Rice, Wade Boggs. And they go to Jerry Brown. Yep. And we are going to... I guess just put it on one of them, and we're good, right? Yeah. Is he a ship? Or yeah, he is a ship. We're going to ship his. Okay. Yeah, if I did it correctly this time. Yeah. I think. All right. Um, yeah, so, okay, so we're, we're going to hit box number three. Right, yeah, I just... Mike Petreka. Mike Petreka, box number three. <clears throat> See what we Mike have. Was a big player in the Babe Ruth. Yes, he was. Ball. Box yeah. number three. Mike Petreka. Box number three. Let's see what Mike does. Mike actually still has some baseballs here from the Ruth. And uh, he wants to come pick them up. <laughs> and box number three. I'm going to tell you that. Box number three has a helmet in it. Say Joe Montana with the Hall of Fame inscription. Great signature. Look at that. Nice. Joe Montana, HOF 2000. And that's a great with black the, paint pad. That yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And it, never, it looks like it never dries. Yeah. With the Beckett authentication with that one. Congrats, Mike. That's awesome. Great one. Great one. We're going to keep this one aside also. Um... Michael? That hey, is Linda. An, hey, Linda, because that is an awesome item to come out of one of these boxes. So we're just going to, you know what, I'm just going to put that right on the plastic um, Beckett authentication. So now Mike is an owner of a great-looking Joe Montana helmet with Hall of Fame inscription, which you don't get very often unless you pay a little extra cheese for that. But there's, so there we go. So now we've had the Ripken ball. And we've had the um, Joe Montana helmet come out. Yeah. There were only three in. Three in. Yeah. Well, there's a lot. There's a ton of. There is a ton of stuff in there. All right. So this is um, is Glenn, box number four. This is Glenn. So Glenn has two boxes. Hey, Michael. There's Michael. Um, Glenn has two boxes. Let's see what Glenn gets in box number one. Box, uh, box number four, but his first his one. Turn. I didn't mean box number, number one. one. All right, so we have a full letter of authenticity. So that's a good sign. Good sign. That's a full letter of authenticity letter. for a Gary Player autographed golf flag. So that's something different. You know, we put a couple golf flags in here, and we have a uh, Gary Player. I know Chad would. I bet Chad liked that. I want a two seven, 2007 Masters golf flag. Full letter of authenticity. So there it is, Gary Player. All right. All right. All right. Huh? Is that all right? We doing good? Yeah. All right. All right. So we are at box number five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chad's got some good golf flags. I bet. He got them here. Yeah. <laughs> Derek. That's how I know they're good. Box number five for Derek. Box number five. Yeah, Glenn, that is a cool, that's a cool different item. Need a cube. Need a cube. For a, I know, for a Whitey Ford. Nice. Whitey Ford autographed baseball. That's a strong That's baseball there. right there with the HOF inscription. Whitey Ford. Very good. Oldest living Hall of Famer. Is that, yeah, I think I we've think been so. over that. Yes. Yeah. Oldest living Hall of Famer goes to Derek Whitey Ford. Um, can't wait for this memorabilia uh, thing we do next week. That's, that's going to be intense. What's that? I was telling everybody that we're working on this memorabilia deal yeah. but I can't really reveal what it is right 
until we so, make the announcement. So Anthony gets me drunk at the beach. Yeah, the you're okay. <laughs> uh, you're going to need to give me a place to stay, too, uh, Anthony. <laughs> all right, uh, Mike missed what was box number three. All right, Mike, you ready, buddy? It's a helmet. It's a helmet. Joe Montana. Hall of Fame 2000 autograph helmet. And that went to Mike in box number three. Great looking signature. Strong lineup in these boxes. Strong lineup. Glenn answered them. I just showed him what it was. There you go. All right. Here's Glenn's second box. box Glenn's number six. number six. Glenn had two boxes. Right there. Box number six. I want to thank everybody for participating in uh, tonight's opening. I'd like to thank everybody. We try to mix it up a little bit, try to, right? Yeah. All right. Um, so Glenn, I bet Glenn already has one of these. It's a Lenny Moore autographed jersey. I don't know if you, I think you do have one, don't you, Glenn? Lenny Moore autographed jersey, number 24, Hall of Famer, Baltimore Colts. Ah, there we go. Lenny Moore jersey in box number six. Um, again, I'm going to pause for a second because uh, I do need Josh here to, uh, to help me out with this a little bit. Um, there we go. You're welcome, Mike. Thanks, buddy. Great Joe Montana helmet. Uh, Lenny Moore. Uh, the Rip, I'm going to show the Ripken baseball again that Richard got in box number one. Cal Ripken autograph stat ball. One, two, three, four, five uh, stats on this ball. Um, and then, of course, Ripken's uh, signature. And uh, ironclad hologram on the ball. So that was uh, Cal's company, uh, Ironclad Authentics. So. Um, again, going to just wait a couple minutes here, because I don't want to lift the box. Here he comes. Sorry. All right. Working. I know. I know. All right. All right. Yep. All right, Anthony. career. Yep, Anthony. Box number seven. Let's see where we go with this. You know, are the stickers bigger? Like, I'm, I, are these stickers bigger than normal? Look, Josh. I'm going to show that. Are these... Um, are they bigger than normal? The seal, the seal, the great moment seal. I don't. We might have always been bigger ones. For the uh, yeah, okay. I just I didn't know if they were that big or not. Wow. Give a shout out to that printing company that prints all the labels. Where is that? It is WGM Printing. So for all your all your yeah all your T-shirt needs, fantasy football shirts if you're coming up with them. Mystery box. Right, mystery box <laughs> shirts, whatever. WGM Printing, that's where you want to go. They do, they print all our labels and our full color boxes. Over next to Look players. Look at that, yeah. Right over near next to Players in Westminster. It's full color. They also uh, do uh, custom shirts. They do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll do anything. Who is this? Who's box? Um, this is... Anthony, right? Yeah, this is, right? Anthony, Anthony. Yep. Career. All right. Um, let me, wait a minute. Let me back up a second. No, it's Sean. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Anthony. I think you're going to be real happy with this. Uh, this is um, uh, Steiner Certificate of Authenticity. You want to move this box? Yep. And this is a Cal Ripken autograph stat jersey. So Cal Ripken autograph jersey, limited edition of 10 limited edition of 10 jerseys from Steiner Sports and it's got all embroidered stats on there. Yeah, 400 home run. Yeah, that's awesome. Cal Ripken, authentic Oriole jersey with the 100th season patch on the sleeve. We've got the flag on the back. It is a real authentic jersey. Um, there's the there's the tag. Yeah, so that's a that's a awesome jersey, and I'm gonna keep this here because, man, there's these. No wonder these boxes sold fast. All right, so we're gonna keep this right here. I'm gonna put it 
right next to the Montana helmet. You know, half the items sitting waiting. Uh, to well, hey, they're, when they're nice, they're nice. Yeah. All right. So, um, Anthony, come on, buddy. You got to be happy with that one. Have to for 159 get a Steiner um, autograph Ripken stat jersey, limited edition of 10. Or is it? Yeah. yeah. All right. We got Ralph Keeney. Yes. <laughs> so Ralph. Where are we? Box number eight. Yep. Going to Ralph. Box number eight. Has um has Ralph got this before? I don't know. We have a nice Justin Tucker autographed jersey. I don't know if he's gotten this Justin Tucker jersey before or not. Great looking autographed jersey from the best kicker in the NFL, Justin Tucker. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a good looking jersey. So we are going to uh, fold this up. There you go, Ralph. Justin Tucker autographed jersey. I'm going to put it in the bag here. You want to throw Ralph's sticker on that bag? Okay. There we go. All right. So we're at box number nine. And we have Jonathan. Box number nine is Jonathan. Uh oh. Okay, no, that's nice. Good, good. All right, hey, Robbie, what's up? Good, Ralph is happy with the Justin Tucker. Hey, Robbie. Should we even say, no, I'm not going to say it. Robbie just reminded me of something. No, you kind of have to. Chick-fil-A or Popeye's. Oh. <laughs> if everybody, I mean, that seems what everybody's sandwich. talking about. Gotta have the sandwich, I guess. Right, if everybody, if everybody wants to just comment, Chick-fil-A or Popeye's, just Popeye's throwing it out there. Yet. You haven't had the Popeye sandwich yet? Yeah. No, yeah, neither have I. Yep. Neither have I. I saw yesterday, there was, I don't know what Popeye's it was at, but mm -hmm. it was, uh, I saw it online somewhere. Jonathan. A lot of those Popeye's are running out of their sandwiches. Cause yes, I did. I did. Yes, so I there did. Was a guy, there were two guys that went in and bought all of them that they had, and they stood outside trying to sell them. No, yeah, they so, did so not. They Why would they? Yeah, nobody bought any. They lost all. Of, they lost that. <laughs> whatever they spent on chicken sandwiches, nobody bought any. But yeah, two guys bought them all up and tried to sell them outside. Wow. Yeah, and that's something. All right. All right. Yeah. So we have Jonathan, um, and you know, like him or hate him, he's still probably a top five ball player in in Major League Baseball, yeah. and that would be Manny Machado. Like Manny Machado, autograph baseball. He's one you love to hate now, right? Yeah, yeah, Manny Machado. He's having a good year. He really yeah. came on strong. Yeah. Really Started came on strong slow. lately. Yes. Yeah. Started out slow and, and came on strong. And this goes to Jonathan. All right. Box number 10. Um, is this a, is this a rusty box number 10? Uh, it is. Is it? I, I it's when a I was rusty box. All right. It's an old one. Okay. Number 10, Rusty. And Robbie, what's up? Hey, Robbie, Josh will be down the beach this week. You at the beach, Robbie? So if you, you know. I'm telling you, you guys can get me drunk, but you need to give me a place to stay. <laughs> I went to Popeye's last night for a second, and they were so, they were and they were, oh, oh the, come the, on. The were there two guys outside with bags still <laughs> trying to sell them to you for 10 bucks each? Oh my gosh. Did we show Rusty's? There it is. Yeah, everybody can see Rusty right there. Yeah. I will say, I, I, I like Popeye's I, fried chicken. I'm not so, so I like going, yeah, so do I. And I really like going to Popeye's, but sometimes, I, let's just say this. The service is not as good as Chick-fil-A. Right. Okay? That, right. That's what I'll say. Yeah. I don't want to talk bad about anybody, right. you can get but the service... You people in line at Chick-fil-A as fast as it takes you to get through two people in line at Popeye's. While you're waiting for your biscuit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll just say that. I do like Popeye's chicken. It's not as much oh, as real yeah, Popeye's chicken is great. It keeps, even though the service isn't as good as Chick-fil-A's, right. it keeps bringing me back. Right. right. <laughs> you, you have to have it every now and then. Off topic. Kind of off topic. Bob Bogger doesn't like Royal Farms fried chicken. 
Wow. Yeah, we might have to let him so, go. so we have a we have we have a guy that just started here like last week. He just started like last week. Yeah. And he's telling us he doesn't like Royal Farms chicken. Yeah. That's what he said. Oof. Yeah. That's strange, but he's that is. he likes Popeyes. I mean, it's, it's okay, like okay, yeah. yeah, but you can like more than one, right? And Rusty's like, open my damn box, right? All right Rusty, <laughs> um, we have a nice size yeah, item. We have a nice size item in here, uh, JSA authenticated, and it is a Rick Barry autographed basketball. Again, look at look at that signature. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it, it looks like it's not dry, even though he signed them in April. Yeah, and it looks like the signature's still wet. Everyone should take Chick-fil-A's customers. It's like Lane's right. Pleasure. That's right. My pleasure. Chick-fil-A. That's right. For, um, interesting fact about Chick-fil-A um, is if you own a Chick-fil-A, you can only own one. Definitely right. Whiskey tenders at O'Lordans are pretty darn good. They're not yeah, bad. They're, really they're not bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, because they have to be owner-operated, the Chick-fil-A's. Right. So you can't they, just own ten Chick-fil-A's. Yes, right. You own one. Right. But you have every Sunday off. That's right. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, so Rick Barry goes to Rusty. Uh, so we are past the halfway point now. We rarely get to this territory. Yep. Half to, past the halfway point. Do not get to this this side of the fence very often. It's not going to get as risky as Barry, unfortunately. Let's see. There's Sean. All right. Let's see if we can get Sean. Said, if you don't like Rofo, you're a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. He's, he's not a Marylander. He's a he's a Pennsylvania guy. That's why he's yeah, well, that, right. I was gonna say that, thing. but they, there's aren't there Rofos in Pennsylvania? There might be, but it's not a. They're more Wawa is more of PA. Yeah. They, okay. Yeah. And sheets and, and sheets maybe. It's not us. It's us. Oh, come on. It's Uts. Uts, not Uts. It's Uts. Yeah, I, don't, I, I don't believe anybody from there. Hey, <laughs> Cole. Cole's at, at the beach. <laughs> Cole's at the beach right <laughs> now. Beach He's waiting right. for you. He's waiting for me. He's got okay. a beer getting warm right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's another great hit item. A, hit a happy hour. Get some lunch. Again, these boxes are just incredible. Um, this is a uh, limited edition Joe Flacco autographed football. Uh, limited edition Ravens 49ers official Super Bowl 47 football. Pretty sweet item. That is a nice item. Very nice item. And that went to, who, did I even announce? Oh, yeah, I did. Sean, yes. Sean at box number 11, right? So now we're at box number 12. Now things are starting to get very interesting. Not that they weren't before. We've already had a uh, Steiner Cal Ripken jersey, mm -hmm. a Joe Montana helmet, a Cal Ripken stack ball, so things are starting to get very interesting right yeah. now at number 12. Here we are. Uh, and we're also talking about Rofo chicken. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Oof, yeah. yeah. So here we go. There's Derek White. Nice. Went and received a nice scholarship for college. So Chick-fil-A paid for the college? Or like a percentage, a percentage of it? Yeah. Very nice. And it always seems, no matter how long the line is in Chick-fil-A, it's, it's fast. It's fast. Right. You can get through 15 yeah, people yes. there. Then yes, in the time two. it takes two at Popeye. Yeah. Well, no, the service is better at Chick-fil-A than Popeye's. We'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> and it <laughs> may just be this Popeye's, I don't know. But they're yeah. generally uh, understaffed. <laughs> I'll say that. There's usually two or three people working at any given time. And box. understocked, yeah. obviously. Yes. Chicken sandwiches. Yes. Right. All right. With that said, I go back. Yes. I still like their chicken. Yeah. Oh, a scholarship program. But if you've got a half hour for lunch and two people in front of you, just walk out. Yes. So you don't have yes. I go back to the <laughs> WC story when he yeah. worked here. But we won't go there. Okay. okay. So um, this one here Derek is White. Um, Derek White, uh, box number 12. And box number 12 is an, another nice item. Uh, Mike Tyson. Iron Mike. Iron Mike. Mike Tyson autographed boxing glove. What a great boxing glove. Mike Tyson. Baddest man on the planet. That's a great boxing glove. Great item out of these boxes. Mike Tyson autographed boxing glove. How awesome is that? 
So we're gonna seal it. We're gonna bag this thing up, seal it up, and I'm gonna put um, Derek's name right on it right now. Uh, Derek is a ship. Yes. All right. Hey, how fun were those uh, baseball cards and football cards to do the last couple weeks? They were pretty awesome. Yeah. So that um, they were really nice. All right. Um, Team number two, Zach. Cooley. Zach. So uh, Zach, box number thirteen. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, see here and what what we're at box number 13 yep. all right it does come out number 13 a lot you're right unlucky 13 comes out quite a bit so let's see where this one's going box number 13 and box number 13 is a Dan Fouts autograph mini helmet so I'm going to pull it out of the box here to show everybody. Dan Fouts is a good autograph. So there's a Dan Fouts autograph mini helmet. So we tried to, you know, if it was a baseball or a mini helmet, we tried to make it a st really strong, you know, because we understand that the, um, the price of these boxes uh, weren't 90, it wasn't $99 a box. So we tried to keep it pretty strong, whatever items. Um, weren't in here that weren't headliners. So if you had a mini helmet, a Dan Fouts with the HOF inscription is a good one to have. Not bad. And that went to, uh, that went to Zach. Yes. All right, Zach. Dan Fouts autographed mini helmet. All right. And let's put your name right on this thing. All right. There we go. That's, that's yours. All right. Uh, box number 14. I'm starting to get a little nervous. Starting to get a little nervous. Box number 14. You're nervous because you have to say that last name. Oh, I, I, I nailed it last time. Tlokowski. Tlokowski. Tlokowski? Yeah. Tlokowski. Okay. Weird to, to say, but I think that's right. Yep. Number 14 <laughs> goes to John. Yes. John, John T. T. Number 14. I'm back. There it is. <laughs> he is. You, you know knew it. it. You're right. You know it. <laughs> quote from, you know, yeah. I think if you have to say the quote, like where it's from, then it's not. Right. You shouldn't say it. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I think on that one, we would have had to say it. Uh, okay. You would have had to say it to me. All right. So here we go. So we have um, John T. John T. Box number 14, and box number 14 again. If it's a baseball or a mini helmet, we like it to be a strong one. And there's Ernie Banks with Hall of Fame inscription. Very nice baseball. Ernie Banks Hall of Fame inscription. In the baseball mystery boxes, this would be one of the top ones. Yep. Yes. Yep. One of the greatest guys you could ever. Yeah, the Brooks, we always say, we'll say it again, the Brooks Robinson of Chicago. Well, what are they? Brooks is Mr. Oriole. And, and Ernie Banks is Mr. Cub. He is Mr. Go. Cub. Oh, give me the sticker. Um, yeah. There we yeah. go. So Ernie Banks. That's my Brooks. Um, what was your Brooks? My, my, Mr. Oriole. Mr. Oh. Oriole. Right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Well, that was a hard play. He had gotten that one. <laughs> Jerry Brown. All right, Jerry. Jerry. All right. Did Jerry, did Jerry have two? Or did we have another Jerry earlier? Um, we no, had. Jerry's second one. Okay. Yeah, number two. Oh, number two. Okay. All right. So what box, what number are we at? Jerry. Uh, Jerry is oh. number 15? Yeah, okay. Yes. Are 15. we in order? Are we yes, good? good? Okay. I saw this and thought it said Jerry 15. Brown again. But it was Perry. Gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. So number 15. Again, a little nervous here. Because we are on the other side of the number 10. And let's see what we get. And in this box, there's a helmet autographed by Lenny Moore. Hmm. I didn't think he was on the list. I, he, but there's also Jim Parker, Mackey. John Mackey, Gino Marchetti, Art Donovan, Johnny Unitas on this helmet ah. also. So there you go, buddy. There it is, Jerry Brown. 
I, we need bells, we need whistles, we need something. And we need a golf clap. Yeah, we need a golf clap. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Has this the first time it's ever come out number 15? I can't remember. Well, no, something that baseball's come out or something, right. Look at that great helmet. Now, it, it does come with the um, full letter of authenticity uh, from James Fence Authentication. Now here, this is the autograph ticket That's I was telling everybody piece, about. Right. Yeah, so this is the autograph ticket. The original um, autograph yes, ticket. Yes, the original <laughs> autograph ticket that uh, got you into the event and got an autograph from each one of the Colts. And there it is, January 5th. How much was it for an autograph of each of the seven Colts? It was one one ninety nine, one ninety five, January 5th, 2002. Yeah, congrats, Jerry. Um, at noon. There you go. Look, it says noon. Yeah. We did it at noon. Down so, Timonium Fairgrounds. It's at Timonium Fairgrounds. And we had this helmet signed at that show. Lenny Moore, Jim Parker, John Mackey, Gino Marchetti, Art Donovan, Johnny Unitas, Raymond Barry. All seven Colt Hall of Famers. Uh, yeah, we're going to show that one again. Yeah, you're not going to have any room for it. I know, I know. Well, the good stuff just keeps piling up. All right, and there's the letter. Um, all right, congratulations, Jerry, at box number 15. What's up, Dave? There's Dave. Let's see. He, he, did you tune in right before we opened that box? Jimmy B. And we have uh, Jimmy Benton. Box number 16. Oh, Lane's a good. It was. It was. Lane. How old was Lane? Talking about what? Um, Lane said, uh, someone's, Lane said good times. I'm assuming oh, she's talking the about signing? the show. Yeah, yeah at the yeah, signing. Yeah. Well, um, he's what? 20 now? Or how old is she? I don't know. She's yeah, old. she's yeah, she's 28. So she'll be, yeah, or 29. She's 29. She's 29, 20, she just she 29. Turned 29 right. Okay. You're right. No, she's uh, 29. So in 02. She'll so be 29 for the next uh, 10, 11 birthdays here. So 02. Right. Right. Eleven. Right, she was 11 yeah. years yeah. old. There she goes. <laughs> we didn't know because she looked so much younger. That's right. Long. That's right. All right, so there's Jim Benton, number 16. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> so we, um, we've been in business now for uh, 24 years. It'll be 24 years very early November. So going into next year, into our 25th year, we may come up with something like the, tw the, the greatest moments in the last 25 years. And that Colt Hall of Fame signing has a legitimate chance of being number one. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like we may, we may put, we may come up with 10 events and list them and yeah. let everybody vote. What else would compare to that? We had, we had Drew Brees in here. We had Drew Brees. We had Joe Montana. And we had Joe, Joe Montana, Montana and Drew Brees, Brees, Jim Brown. Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps, three, week, three weeks before he won his first gold medal, he was here. Yeah. Um, um, Jim Brown. Flacco signing. Uh, you have to say Joe Flacco, Flacco Super Bowl MVP signing. signing. Ray Lewis Super Bowl MVP signing yeah. back in uh, 2001. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you, know, you know, okay. The Hilton with the five. I that was one the, I was yep, of too. with that the with was, the uh, with the five Ravens, um, and not a lot of people know this, but I would let out a little great moment secret here. Is that after the Mile High Miracle, we booked an autograph signing with Justin Tucker, Tory Smith, um, Dennis. Was it? No, I'm sorry. Jacoby Jones. Ellerby. Danelle Ellerby. And Dennis Pitta. Pitta was and there, Dennis right. Pitta was there, yes. Yeah. So we had five Ravens. Now, the signing was the Tuesday after the New England game. Right. Win or lose. Right. We were doing the signing. Yep. Right? Yep. Because we had to have time to, you know, let everybody know about it. Mm -hmm. And it is nine days away, right? Because yep. we started working on it. Well, this had never happened before. We had answers from every player within 24 hours. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do it. That's how excited everybody was. Mm -hmm. But what everybody did not know was in order to have Super Bowl 47 helmets ready for that show that Tuesday, I would have never gotten them in that quick between the New England game 
and Tuesday because we played New England on Sunday, mm -hmm. and then we had the show on Tuesday. So we had a skid of Super Bowl 47 helmets sitting in our back room before we even knew we were going to the Super Bowl. And a few people that didn't know about it said we jinxed them <laughs> because we had the helmets here. Turns out we didn't. Turns out we didn't. They won. And we had our Super Bowl we had our Super Bowl forty seven helmets in the back room mm -hmm. waiting to go for that Tuesday night. Yep. And that was a great moment. Yeah, that was a great moment. That was news a great cameras, moment. News cameras there, a thousand people probably yeah. showed Jacoby up. Jacoby showed up late. Jacoby showed up late. <laughs> yeah, it's feeling a little loose. That's Jacoby. But you, you, what was just as good as that was after the Super Bowl, we went back to the same hotel and we had Joe Flacco there. Yep. His first public, not first public appearance, his first public autograph signing after the Super Bowl. All right, so we got a little off track, but yeah. we were, Where are we? we were, yeah, there Jimmy we go. Uh, yes. Right. Sorry, Jimmy. Uh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. Okay. Um, so we, have, Jimmy, we've got a great item. And yeah, we're going to keep this one aside. This is the letter of authenticity. I need to go ahead and pull that away. This is a golf flag, an Arnold Palmer invitational golf flag, autographed by Arnold Palmer, Phil Mickelson, um, O'Meara. Yeah, this is this is great. So there's a total of about 22 signatures. Dale Irwin on there. Mm-hmm. Now, now JSA mentions uh, Mayfair. Who's Mayfair? They mention him as a as a notable as a notable. Chad, you still watching? I feel like it's Brendan, but I or is um or is Michael Crop still watch? Is he watching? Mayfair and and Kuchar. Or K K U C H A R. But what a great item! This is what we talk about. We say multi sport. This is the definition of a multi sport item. Yeah. Arnold Palmer Invitational flag, full letter of authenticity. Of course, Arnold Palmer on it. Phil Mickelson, right above Palmer. And this this is great. Billy Mayfair. Who is it? Billy Mayfair. Billy Mayfair. Okay. All right. And um, a shameless plug, if anybody wants these golf flags framed, let us know. We can take care of that. All right. So there's there's the golf flag. Great item. Again, these boxes. That goes to, uh, that go to Jimmy? Jimmy Benton. Jimmy Benton. Box number 16. All right. It is fun to just throw this stuff. It is, it is fun just to throw stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, box number 17 goes Evan Kelly. Box number 17. You know what I noticed? They're all going to come out. There's a bunch of jerseys that haven't come. I think there's a bunch of jerseys, yeah, right. isn't yeah, there? Earl Campbell, Tony Dorsett. Yep, yep. Howie Long, is he in there? Uh, Howie Long. Yeah. yeah, there's a bunch of jerseys left here. So. Oh, here, no, uh, here, Robinson. okay, okay. Here we go. Earl Campbell had somebody in here over the weekend oh, saying the they really wanted an Earl Campbell jersey. Earl Campbell, HOF ninety one, one of the Oilers. Nice, nice blue Earl Campbell jersey. Very nice, very nice. With the JSA authentication, Earl Campbell jersey. All right. Box number 18. Ryan Barnett. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a new one. I don't know Ryan Barnett. I think Ryan is a is a new player. Uh huh. How we get this? Let's see. A couple more comments down here. I like to see everybody what they say. There we go. Yeah, it is a nice Great. flag. Yeah, Jimmy gave us a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. Good deal, man. That's an awesome flag there. All right. Again, we have um, um, Ryan Barnett, box number 18, and box number 18 is an autographed jersey, um, Mr. I guess Fox Sports Howie Long, Howie Long Raiders jersey, autographed Raiders jersey. Good looking, good looking Raiders jersey. Yeah. JSA authentication. And Howie's easy on the eyes too, right? And girls like Howie Long. <laughs> uh, he was like popular with the ladies, right? Yes, yeah, I guess he was. Yeah. yeah. He was awesome in, awesome in Broken Arrow. 
Was he really? No, he wasn't. I, he never, was I was going to say, I never saw it. No, it's not a good movie. But All he right. Was he was the bad guy. Okay. He was the bad guy? Yeah. I, I can't see him being a bad guy. He was like the second in command of the bad guy. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So Ryan gets a Howie Long autograph jersey. Go. Huh. Movie star. All right. So we have box. Yep. Number 19. Rusty. Box number 19. Um, what is Chaz and I'm um, for? What's that mean, buddy? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Are we talking too much? You know I talk a lot. All right. Uh, maybe because I said how long would be easy on the eye. Oh, Let's okay. <laughs> Rusty, number 19. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, Rusty. Rusty gets a beautiful Frank. Frank Robinson autographed baseball with the inscription 580, no, no, HOF with the Hall of Fame inscription. You can't see it on the side there. Let me, let's do that. Let's just uh, open that up a little bit better. So there's the um, Frank Robinson autographed baseball with HOF on the side. Nice white ball, blue signature. All right. You know what? I think Robbie needs to take you to the cork bar. Sure. While you're at the so beach. We do shots of Jameson, right, Robbie? Robbie's gonna line them up. <laughs> no, Robbie's yes, the yeah. Right. Robbie's that's, the um. Sorry. Robbie's fireball. Fireball. Right. I'll do a shot of fireball. I'll bring my wife so she can he'll drink half, and my wife can do the other half. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or he'll just slide the whole thing to her. Right. All right, um, so All right. Rusty gets number 19, box number 20. Number 20, going to Doug Menipe. Going to Doug. Let's see what Doug gets. And Doug gets a autograph jersey of Mr. Tony D. Tony Dorsett. In the last box, Tony Dorsett autographed jersey. Pretty cool jersey. He signed it at the Chantilly Show yeah. um, just in April. JSA Cowboys authentication. What's that? Cowboys are going to be bringing him in to have a look at him. See if he's still Tony Dorsett. <laughs> That's back. right. Great looking Tony Dorsett jersey. <laughs> Especially <laughs> Fireball. Ah. Right. <laughs> uh, and my wife can each do half a shot. There you go. All right. So, Robbie, will you be at the beach? <laughs> JSA authentication, all right. So there we go, Tony Dorsett. And that wraps up our 20 mystery boxes for tonight. We are going to recap them. Got a few. Yeah, a few to, yeah, recap, few to recap. Five, um, six to recap. Yeah, let's go in order. Let's go oh, okay. with the... Um, and this went to Doug, right? All right. So, um, number one box... We had um, Richard Frenner, number one box, received a Cal Ripken autographed baseball with all kinds of inscriptions. 26-32 consecutive games, 19-time All-Star, Hall of Fame 2007, 1982 AL ROI Rookie of the Year, and uh, 1983 and 91 AL MVP. Great looking uh, Cal Ripken baseball. Um, definitely worth uh, the box. Definitely worth the price of the box. Absolutely. Um, well, you got how many inscriptions? One, two, three, I think I can five. Five. So what's that? Eighty bucks a piece. Yeah, sixty to eighty dollars <laughs> in inscription. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. then the signature being about one hundred and forty. Yeah, adds up quick. Yeah, it does add up quick. Yeah. All right, so uh, then we went to box number three, and uh, Mike Petreka, a Joe Montana autographed helmet with the Hall of Fame inscription, Beckett authentication. So that's another great item. And look how bold that signature is. Yeah. Boy, he doesn't play around, does yeah, he? Not a look at that. Or smear in the nothing. Ink, no, nothing. Uh, HOF 2000. Not just 00. Yeah. HOF 2000. Very nice item. That went to Mike. Um, then we had a um, Anthony. Was that Anthony? Yep. In, in box number uh, seven, right? Was it? Uh, yes, it was. Yeah. Box number seven was the uh, Cal Ripken 
autographed jersey, limited edition of 10. Yeah, it was made to commemorate Cal's 400th home run. Right, autographed stat jersey. We have the flag on the back of the jersey. We've got the 100th patch. That's his uh, retirement here. So Is that what it was? Yeah, the, or, okay. the one. That jersey. Okay, yep. So that's a, a beautiful Cal Ripken jersey. They all had the flag after 9-11, right? All, oh, all, all okay, all right. Yep. Here we go. There's Anthony. We'll be very happy with that. Yep. Uh, then we go to, um, we'll do the flag next. The flag. Then we go right to the golf flag. And um, the golf flag was, Jimmy, um, right? yeah, I think it was Jimmy Benton, right? And that's a great golf flag. Autographed by Arnold Palmer, Phil Mickelson, and more. So we have a total of 22 Billy signatures. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> Billy Mayfair. So we have 22 signatures on this Arnold Palmer Invitational um, flag. And again, shameless plug, if anybody wants their golf flag framed, let us know. We can frame them. So there's that. And then the, uh, the next item... Um, Box number 15, right, yep. went to Jerry Brown, GB. and Jerry Brown got fired tonight. He got this, receive, he'll receive this helmet, Raymond Barry, Jim Parker, Lenny Moore, Art Donovan, Gino Marchetti, and of course Johnny Unitas right on the sweet spot of the helmet. You know, John Mackey always liked signing in the horseshoe. Mm -hmm. He really did. Even some of the mini helmets, he liked trying to squeeze it in the horseshoe. Yeah. Um, Great, great, great Hall of Fame, all seven Colt Hall of Famers on this Baltimore Colts helmet, we'll call it. Um, and that is it. 20 boxes. Pretty loaded tonight. I uh, want to thank everybody for participating. It took a little bit longer than normal, but it was worth it. Yeah. It was worth it. We had yeah. some nice conversation. Had a lot to show off. Mm -hmm. um, again, I'll see what we can, um, what we can put together. For the weekend, possibly, if uh, if we don't announce anything in the weekend, early next week, we'll we'll announce something. Right, yeah. early yeah. next week, and um, hopefully, I'll um, we'll have a, a bunch of the new pieces of memorabilia to talk about. Yeah. So again, GreatMomentSportsCards.com is where you can purchase your mystery boxes. You can go to GreatMomentThink.com and actually uh, cruise through our website and see some uh, nice items. GreatMomentsAuction.com. GreatMomentsAuction.com. Right, yes. Don't we have like three websites two, now? Two and yeah. a half weeks or mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. We'll have a new auction up. Yep. Uh, everybody have a good, safe, uh, what is this, Labor Day? Coming yes, it is Labor, Labor Day. Day. Yeah, you Day. get Memorial Day and Labor Day mixed uh, up. Always. Okay, yeah, yeah this is Labor Day. Yeah, I've, I've Labor Day. Recently, Memorial Day is sunny and Labor Day is... Right, the end of the Right, the end of the summer. So everybody have a great weekend. Josh... on Facebook if you want to buy me a beer. Yep, Josh will be at the beach or... At the Bad Monkey... Uh, probably four mm -hmm. or if you want to meet if you want to meet him at the rectangle he'll be glad to that's meet right. you down at the rectangle okay, I'll, I'll um, show you up at the, the rectangle. there you go that's right all right everybody have a great night and thank you for uh, joining us tonight Thanks. and we'll see you in a few days you got it. thank you have a good weekend